What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Chicago Cubs versus Toronto Blue Jays. Major League Baseball matchup going down Sunday, August 18th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between the Chicago Cubs and the Toronto Blue Jays. The Chicago Cubs sending out Shota Imanaga for the start in this one, while the Toronto Blue Jays will counter with Bowden Francis. And Imanaga got hit fairly hard in his last start. It was seven runs allowed on seven hits. Only three of those runs were earned, but he did give up a pair of home runs. He only had three strikeouts in that last start. Um, and, you know, it didn't. It wasn't a great line for Imanaga, but you know, I will say he still has a 3.30 ERA at home this season, 226 opponents batting average. And it's worth noting that, you know, the uh, the Chicago Cubs, you know, as a team only had one error in that game. But again, it was just it was a bunch of unearned runs that really did in the Cubs in that game as they kind of got uh, you know pulled away from in that game. They ended up making it an interesting game. They made it nine to eight by the end of the game. Unfortunately, though, you know, they still ended up on the losing side of it. But I think they have a good shot here to bounce back. You know, the Toronto Blue Jays. You know, been a team that I, you know, even though they're they're you know my team, there's still there's just no denying how poor this team has been basically you know for the majority of the season, very underwhelming. And when you look at their numbers against left-handed pitching in the in their last ten games, their bottom ten in baseball and batting average, the team OPS numbers are just below league average, um, but the isolated power numbers, while you know above league average on the surface, again it's only across 133 plate appearances and. You know, some of those came against Tyler Anderson in a 9-2 beatdown loss. Anderson, a pitcher that we've kind of really been expecting regression from in some of his recent starts that he's been pitching a little bit above his pay grade. Shota Imanaga for a while was considered to, before Paul Skeens came around, considered to be potentially the NL Rookie of the Year. He was pitching extremely well. Still has a 3.16 ERA. Only has 19 walks allowed this season compared to 131 strikeouts, over 128 in the third innings of work. And Bowden Francis, while Bowden Francis had a couple of nice starts in his last couple outings in the month of August, five innings of two-run ball against the Orioles, seven innings of one-run one ball against the Angels, the only hit that he gave up was the solo home run, I still just don't think I can trust him here. The Chicago Cubs are the only team that's really playing for anything right now besides pride, which is all I can say that the Blue Jays are playing for. And, you know, the the, uh, the Chicago Cubs, they have a really low strikeout rate, 15.3%, high walk rate, you know, the batting average could stand to improve, but in the end, I trust Imanaga, I trust this Cubs lineup more than I trust the Blue Jays against the lefty, and I trust the Cubs bullpen a lot more than I trust Toronto's as well right now, even though the Cubs did give up that lead in the ninth inning in, uh, in, in Friday's match. We still found a way to win the game, it was a little bit nervy, but I still think the Cubs are the play here, so I'm going to lean towards the Cubs in this one, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.